but proving that somebody else knows about it. Yeah. Knowing. That's not a fun thing to go through. So. But we get to start a process of remodeling the kitchen a little bit sooner than we planned on. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's right. I was going to say, cheers. Let's wait till next Dan Riley. That's cool. We're the third owners of the property. The Riley family built it. And then when Dan died, Maureen Shup was on the way home with his daughter. That was pretty something over. My parents were very fortunate to call me back. Come on, 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Burlington City Council meeting number 13, July 2nd, 2012, 6.30 p.m. Thomas J. Smith Council Chambers. Do you join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Appropriate as we celebrate our independence this week. Roll call, please, Kathy. Anderson? Here. Davidson? Here. Fleming? Here. McCampbell? Here. Reed? Here. Thank you. We have two proclamations. First, a proclamation of retirement, which I am privileged to read. Whereas the city of Burlington wishes to honor Chief Daniel C. Lutenegger for over 31 years of service as a professional law enforcement officer of the Burlington Police Department. <coughs> Whereas Daniel C. Lutenegger has provided the citizens of Burlington with outstanding, loyal, and dedicated service, beginning as a police officer on October 16, 1981. During this tenure, he worked all patrol shifts, was assigned to Criminal Investigation Division, and was one of the first DARE officers in the area. Dan was promoted to lieutenant and assigned to the Southeast Iowa Narcotics Task Force commander in 1991. In July of 1994, he was promoted to administrative captain and later that year took over the criminal investigation division until 1995 when he was promoted to major of operations commander. In 1998, the major and deputy chief positions were combined and Dan served in that capacity until 2007 when he became chief of police in Burlington. In addition to his duties as police chief, he served as acting city manager from January through March of 2012, for which we are all extremely grateful. Chief Lutenegger formally retired on June 29, 2012. Now therefore, we the City Council and the City of Burlington, Iowa, do hereby recognize and commend Daniel C. Lutenegger for his outstanding service and commitment to the welfare and safety of the citizens of Burlington. 
We, the City Council, wish him sincere congratulations and much happiness in his retirement. Signed and sealed this second day of July, 2012, Jim Davidson, Mayor. And words can't express our appreciation, Dan, so if you would come and accept this, please. Before you talk, Dan. <laughs> uh, Kathleen Hamish from the David A. Wunderberg uh, Policing Foundation has a presentation to make also for Dan. Mr. Mayor, members of the council and staff, I also have joining me tonight is um, Larry, you can come and join us too, because this will be on behalf of Larry Walsh, uh, he is the brother of Tom Walsh, retired mm -hmm. police department. So um, David A. Wannenberg had a vision to create a foundation. We as city didn't have the funding to support the police department like there were many needs that, that were out there. And um, we've been honored, the five of us, to serve on that. It is um, Larry and myself, Chief Lutenager, and um, Carrie Lynn Bloomer and Don Henry. So with that being said, we'd like to thank Don, or Dan, excuse me, for his years of serving on the Policing Foundation Board and the David A. Wannenberg Foundation Board, and uh, we're going to miss you, and we really would like you to visit us once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> we're happy to have you as part of that Foundation Board, so with that being said, we'll let you make your comments. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. I know it's hard to quit smiling, my cheeks still kind of hurt, <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness though, I, I really appreciate the uh, support of the council. Um, over the last 31 years, we've always had uh, good support from the city council and I am sure and confident that's going to continue. Um, and I feel real good about leaving the police department, I think in really good hands. We've got a great staff and also a lot of great patrol people that uh, do the day in and day out jobs every day. And, uh, do appreciate what they've done for me. It's made my job a lot easier. And again, I retire with a smile on my face, knowing they're in good hands. So thank you very much. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Well, from the bottom of our hearts, we, you know, when a valuable employee leaves, it's, it's uh, noteworthy. So thank you, Dan. Thank you. We have another proclamation, which is uh, Councilman McCampbell's turn to read. Uh, proclamation, whereas parks and recreation programs are an integral part of communities throughout this country, including the city of Burlington. Our parks and recreation are vitally important to establishing and maintaining the quality of life in our communities, ensuring the health of all citizens, and contributing to the economic and environmental well-being of a community and region. And whereas parks and recreation facilities and, built, and programs build healthy, active communities that aid in the prevention of chronic disease, provide therapeutic recreation services to, for those who are mentally or physically disabled, and also improve the mental and emotional health of all citizens. Parks and recreation programs increase the community's economic prosperity through increased property values, expansion of the local tax base, increased tourism, the attraction of retention of business, and crime reduction. <coughs> and whereas parks and natural recreation areas are fundamental to the environmental well-being of our community, improve water quality, protect groundwater, prevent flooding, improve the quality of the air that we breathe, provide vegetation buffers to, to development, and produce a habitat for wildlife. Our parks and natural recreation areas ensue the ecological beauty of our community and provide a place for children and adults to connect with nature and, re recreate, and recreate outdoors. And whereas the U.S. House of Representatives has designated July as Parks and Recreation Month, the city of Burlington also recognizes the benefits derived from parks and recreation resources. Now, therefore, we, the City Council of city, the City of Burlington, do hereby recognize July as Parks and Recreation Month, signed and sealed the second day of July, 
2012, Kathleen Salisbury City Clerk, Jim Davidson, Mayor. Mr. Tesla. Easy, what can we say? You know, if it isn't said about you on a weekly basis, man. We really appreciate this. We, we want you to have this. That's a lot easier. That's all I'll say. Just a quick word about wanted to recognize our great staff and great care that they take for our parks and recreation facilities and programs. Uh, parks are such a great amenity in this community and it's something that we're very proud of and something that we recognize as a great asset in Burlington. Amen. Here, here. Thank you, Eric. Next is the consent agenda. All matters listed under item one, consent agenda having been discussed are considered to be routine by the city council and will be enacted by one motion. There'll be no separate discussion of these items. If discussion is desired, that item will be removed from the consent agenda and will be considered separately. On the agenda, uh, consent agenda tonight, we have the usual finances and miscellaneous, minutes of previous meetings, payroll, city claims, beer, liquor, wine, cigarette licenses, reports, and bonds. We have four resolutions. The first, a resolution approving nuisance abatements for various properties. The second, Resolution approving final acceptance and release of retention monies and awarding of a supplemental contract for the 2010 Riverfront Rip Rap Replacement Project. Third, a resolution authorizing the filing of an application of State of Iowa Re Revitalize Iowa Sound Economy, or better known as RISE funds for improvement to Bluff Road. Fourth, a resolution approving audit services agreement for fiscal year 2011-2012 with Ide Bailey, LLP. We're setting dates for public hearing. Uh, two of them on July, first two on July 16th for an ordinance amending section 160.04 of unsafe building, uh, chapter 160, abandoned unsafe buildings of the Burlington Municipal Code. The second, consideration of ordinance amending, uh, ordinance number 2947 as previously amended, amending the provisions for the urban revitalization plan for the city of Burlington, Iowa. And another public hearing on August 6th for consideration of an ordinance Rezoning properly located known as 2814 Mount Pleasant from M2 Heavy Industrial to C2 General Commercial. Is there anyone from the audience wishing to have any of these items removed from the consent agenda? Seeing none, Council, do you have any that you'd like to have removed? No, sir. Seeing none, we have a, a motion. Your Honor, I have a motion to approve all listed under item one, consent agenda. Second. We have a motion to second. Kathleen. Anderson. Aye. Davidson? Aye. Fleming? Aye. McCampbell? Aye. Reed? Aye. Motion is carried. Thank you very much. We have a public hearing. Uh, statement of consideration of an ordinance rezoning the property locally known as 3460 Augusta Road from MT, M2 <coughs> Heavy Industrial Zoning District to M1 Light Industrial Zoning District. Uh, Eric, could you give us some details on that one, please? As you can see on the map, the area uh, request to be rezoned is in hashed, uh, just on the uh, east side of the north-south roadway there, south of West Avenue. Um, they're looking to, uh, I guess, add to their current uh, storage, indoor storage facilities. Uh, they currently, the requ owners requested to rezone it to M1 to allow a storage <coughs> facility such as the one at the south end of the map. Um, M1 allows any type of commercial use and light industrial use. So it's a, a minor change from M2 heavy industrial to M1 light industrial. And this wouldn't be in conflict with any of our extended plans? Or no, anything? no. Okay. Anyone from the audience wishing to comment? Seeing none. Council, do you have any questions or comments? Not I. I Seeing none, uh, we need a motion to close the hearing. Um, I'll make a motion to close. Second. We have a motion and a second to close the public hearing. Kathleen, please. Anderson? Aye. Davidson? Aye. Fleming? Aye. McCampbell? Aye. Reed? Aye. Now we have a motion. I have a motion for preliminary adoption of the first reading of the ordinance rezoning the property locally known as 3460 Augusta Road from M2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District to M1 Light Industrial Zoning District. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Seems like a reasonably good thing to do. Okay, Kathleen? Anderson? Aye. Davidson? Aye. Fleming? Aye. McCampbell? Aye. 
Read. All right. Now we have an ordinance. Yes, Your Honor. I have a uh, motion for preliminary adoption of the second reading of an ordinance amendment to ordinance number 3220, an ordinance creating the Sunrise West Development Unit, Sunrise, excuse me, West Plan Unit Development, PUD Overlay District by amending section 12 street right of way. Second. We have a motion and a second. Eric, is there anything new or maybe we should have it explained to us again exactly what's going here? Uh, uh, currently Sunrise West has 30 feet of um, of a lot designated for potential future right away at mm -hmm. the west edge of their uh, lot running from uh, Mason Road to the north end of their lot. Uh, that right away was designated uh, future development occurs for um, uh, street access from Mason Road to West Avenue and that was in accordance with our uh, Mason Road sub area plan to have another connection from West Avenue to Mason Road which was adopted in 1999. Uh, Sunrise West has asked to uh, vacate that 30 feet as shown here on the west side and then continue uh, Cambridge Drive to the north to <coughs> West Avenue um, which would allow another through connection from Mason Road to West Avenue. Um, so essentially moving the uh, the connection to the east uh, approximately two to 300 feet. So the request is to uh, eliminate that 30 feet of um, outlot as a potential feature right away and make the connection to their north property lines so that the development occurs to the north. It'll allow for a feature through street connection. How, how, much, how much is 30 feet on that map? 30 feet's this small sliver right here. Wow. That looks like more. Than it does. That's 30 feet. This is 30 feet right here. This small area. Sure. No, that can't be right. What's that little lot down there? Then that means it's yeah. only. This is no lot. This is 30 feet right here. That 30 feet. That's yeah. okay. We're not talking about the whole. Oh, the width is 30, 30 feet in width. I'm yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh, that. yeah. Because I was thinking like <laughs> I thought you meant like <laughs> along their whole property. How long okay. is it? It's from Mason Road to no, the property line. You don't know how the length okay. of it is? So probably over 500. Thank you, Eric. That just didn't make sense to me. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so so the streets would connect, still connect in the area. Yeah. It just would move to the west right. or to the east. What was the big issue with having the street there again? Yeah. Is because we don't have anybody to pay for half of it? They've requested based on selling this property to the south, uh, not wanting dual frontage. Anyone from the audience wishing to comment? <coughs> Eric, what was the distance from Mason Road to the adjoining property of Sunrise West and the Catholic Church? Do you do you know what that dimension is? Is it from Mason Road where? From Mason Road up the property bordered on the east by Sunrise, bordered on the uh, west by... Uh, from this point to this yeah, point? Yeah, from w one point. How, what was the distance there? That's approximately 600 to 700 feet. How much? I believe around six to 700 feet. Oh, okay. I got a closer date. I'm Noble Boy, 2913 Lawn. You all know that, don't you? So maybe you don't know that. I'm not sure. But anyhow, we were very pleased when uh, the city planner opened the meeting of the Zoning and Planning Commission. She indicated to us, to quote Mr. Kanoki, that the plan is to serve the whole city, not one person individually. And I agree with that. And we agreed and we offered a proposal. We thought that, that not only, we think it enhanced, we think it enhanced the ability to move traffic from point A Mason Road to point B, West Avenue. And I guess the big selling point is that you can see part of that's already completed. So that's a savings of, I think we come up with a figure of about, and, and we got somebody who can really help us, about, about $1,200 a lineal foot. Does that sound like a good price to do a road, sewers, everything? Steve? I'm sure no. I, I work in square yards usually. <laughs> Take the word for it. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we'll do the math. And so you can see the savings we've already we've already done for the city as well as for 
Sunrise Way. <laughs> that we've already installed that street and that's already there. We thought that with two meetings with the Planning and Zoning Commission that not only had we relieved that obligation there, we had enhanced the situation. We had by no means made it worse, we had made it better. And this proposal helps serve us, as Eric had indicated, a sale of property there because there is a 30-foot obligation to whoever owns the property according to the PUD agreement that if a street is ever developed that we would have to put that in. That's quite a liability and the company wanting to buy the first piece of land you see from Mason Road up said they would not assume that liability. And so, I, and you're all familiar with who that is and what they're doing, right? Uh, what's the name of it? Equity. Real estate equity is proposing to build a 44 unit, a 44 unit uh, high rise there. They have not yet uh, applied for a zoning change. Is that right? That's correct. But but they intend to as soon as that liability is relieved. And so we 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 think that the zoning com planning commission instructed the city planner and she was to bring to you what we found to be a fair and equitable plan. And if you have reviewed that plan exactly as they instructed her to do, then I think you will see the same way. I reserve the right to wait until you're done with your comments, and if you have any questions, I will answer them. Uh, Council, wait a minute. No, but wait a second. Yeah. Stay here. <laughs> you, have, you have questions or comments? What, what is the plan? Yeah. I don't have a copy of the plan. I, what is well, the that's plan? just this, right? That's what we're talking about. That now, I don't know which plan you're talking well, about. Well, is I the plan you said that was given to... Um, the planning person. What what is that the plan? Planning and zoning commission. Is it uh, this plan? He put that, I think he's got it up there right now. But what what were you guys did was there something the church was requesting? Sunrise West made this request to amend the P U D agreement. Right, but it, is there anything the, the church is requesting? No. The we requested that. The church commented. Is that? Oh, what? you are Sunrise West? Sunrise yes, West. Sunrise okay, West. Uh, that wasn't clear. I'm today. sorry about that. I okay. think everybody no. knows Sam. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so this proposed Sunrise West, this is a Sunrise West proposal, okay? okay? And, and it was all summed up by the Planning and Zoning Commission allowing each entity to get what they needed to do it, and I presume that's the okay. way it was presented to you. I, I didn't know that, who you were speaking it. for. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank allowing you. each entity to get what was required to do this. Thank okay. you. Okay. Do you correct. have any other questions? No. no. Okay. I think we got it straight. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Anyone else wishing to comment? <coughs> Are we clear, Council? On what yes. We're, we're, yes. What we're doing? Okay. What do you think? I think we're clear, and I think yeah, let's clear. move. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to do this. Yes. Yeah. Um, on that, I have a motion to amend to amend the motion for preliminary adoption of second reading of an ordinance amendment to ordinance uh, number 3220, an ordinance creating the Sunrise West Plan Unit Development PUD Overlay District by amending section 12 street right of way to read as follow for waiver and preliminary um, adoption um, or consideration preliminary adoption of the second reading and for final adoption of the ordinance amendment um, to ordinance number 3220 as an ordinance creating the Sunrise West Plan Unit Development PUD Overlay District by amending section 12 street um, right away. Second. We have a motion and second to amend. Any discussion? No. Nope. Council. Okay, Kathleen, we vote on the amendment, please. Anderson? Aye. Davidson? Aye. Fleming? Aye. McCampbell? Aye. Reed? Aye. Now we have a motion as amended. Anderson? Aye. Davidson? Aye. Fleming? Aye. McCampbell? Aye. Reed? Aye. That motion carries. The second reading is waived. The third reading is approved. Thank you, folks. Now is the time for comments from the audience. Um, you are welcome to come and address the council on any matter that's not previously been discussed. We will be glad to listen to what you have to say. Yes, yes hi. 
My name is Jesse Doss. I live on 523 South Adams Street. And I have a next door neighbor that lives at 518 South Adams Street. And he lives in a camper because his house ended up burning down. And he exposes himself. Now, last time I knew that was against the law. Now, I, I would have thought to actually called the police like any ordinary law-abiding citizen, but uh, with somebody who has nothing to really lose, isn't, isn't that against the law for him to live in the city without a house? I mean, is it legal to live in the city in a camper? Where's he getting power from? He doesn't have any. We, we really can't discuss this issue. You need to go to uh, Eric in development and talk to him perhaps tomorrow. Or maybe after the meeting you can discuss it with him. And as far as the legal matter is concerned, uh, Acting Police Chief Barry could probably help you out with that one. Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyone else wishing to address council? Fine. Okay, good. While we're at it, I want to welcome Major Beard and uh, Acting Police Chief Beard now. So, um, thank, you. thank you for uh, choosing to serve our community. I appreciate that. Council, you have any comment? I don't. How about Grandpa Fennell? Do you have any comments? <laughs> Grandpa <laughs> Fennell? For no. Oh. He's Grandpa. <laughs> I thought you said Grandpa No, Fleming. I do not. <laughs> Claude's not that old. <laughs> Great grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> great grandpa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> People on the air are like, what? <laughs> Shane, what are you laughing about? It just caught me wrong, man. I apologize. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Fernell family has a really good weekend. So, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. We yes, did it. so follow up on it. Yes, we did have a, a <laughs> baby, baby granddaughter over the weekend. So it was a very busy weekend with a lot of travel. So. Yeah. And we did attend the Midside City meeting on Friday in Marshalltown. It was, again, a lot of traveling. <laughs> but uh, it was a, a pr pretty productive meeting. So um, I can talk to you all about it sometime if you want to know what happened. Yeah. With that, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? We have a motion and a second to adjourn. Kathleen? Anderson? Aye. Davidson? Aye. Fleming? Aye. And Campbell? Aye. Reed? Aye. Thank you, folks. God bless you and God bless Burlington. Enjoy the holiday. Okay, I gotta tell you a funny thing because this is a, gr a grandma. Hold on a second. Wait till it goes on.